There were dozens of owls and their families at a new expo, a night to remember for our homecoming queens, and a true celebration of gratitude for our community. These stories and more on this edition of Super News. Hi, I'm Lexi Pritchard. And I'm Barry Lamorne, and welcome to Super News, where we take a look back at some of the good things happening in our school system. We'll begin with some big news as we announce our three parish-wide teachers of the year. From Araby Elementary, Michelle Ingraffia. From St. Bernard Middle, Will Lancaster. And from Shaman High School, David Ballard. Congratulations to these three amazing educators. We're so proud of all of our teachers, and we'll meet our school winners next month on our Teacher Feature Super News in December. And speaking of winners, congratulations to all the players who fared well in the most recent academic games tournament held at the MoMA Center in Old Araby. This event had students competing in onsets and propaganda, two of the four games that make up the academic game season. Academic Games recognizes academic excellence just like other awards recognize athletic achievement. And we're so thankful to our coaches and players for their commitment to the Games. Congrats to these winners. Our Shaman High School Owls performing groups were also recognized for excellence recently when they took part in the Louisiana Music Educators Association Marching Band Competition. The Shaman High School Band and the school dance team, the Chalmers, earned scores of ones in all categories of performance, the highest score given by the judges. Congratulations to Caleb Lambert and Joe Mitchell and to all of the performers on your success in being rated as superior. Shamet High was also the site for a very special gathering when it hosted its first ever scheduling expo. Similar to an open house, this event allowed students and family members to learn all about the different academic, artistic, and extracurricular activities that are available to our high school students. From advanced placement courses to dual enrollment, athletics and enrichment, guests were able to hear from and ask questions to some of the experts on hand. The students currently involved in the wide array of offerings. You know, when students are able to make informed decisions about the classes they take, it makes them more invested in their learning and better prepared for the future. Our first scheduling expo has really been a success and we owe that to the teachers, the students, the administrators, all of the people who really made today possible. We had over 700 people come through our scheduling expo tonight, which we're really excited about. It's our first one and we really hope to grow from here. It was a great evening of sharing, learning, and planning for the future. Good job to Kelly Watson, Holly Landry, Maylene LaBeouf, and thanks to all the folks who volunteer their time in service to others. And now it's time for some kernels of truth as we head over to Andrew Jackson to meet its Super News team there. Hi, I'm India Hankton. And I'm Connor Dewey. And welcome to our school where we always put the focus on student engagement. Our teachers work tirelessly to create fun and engaging lessons that build student ownership and accountability in the classroom. Recently, students have conducted science experiments to learn about how energy is transferred, discuss dystopian themes, and other novels through Socratic seminars, and even work through math problems as a group to find the correct solution. Hey, India, do you know who Socrates' worst student was? Who, Connor? Mediocrity. <laughs> Anyway, another focus that AJ is helping to create teacher leaders. We encourage our staff to be a part of the learning process, from modeling to writing curriculum for the district to presenting at faculty meetings. We empower our teachers and faculty to share their strengths. Utilizing programs provided through the district, we have many alums and active members of the Teach St. Bernard and UNL Masters cohorts. We also want school to be a fun place to be. We are so happy and proud to restore our extracurricular programming. Our Colonel Volleyball team had an incredible season. We have a number of other sports currently happening at AJ. Soccer, girls basketball, boys basketball, cheer, and dance. We also have a variety of clubs such as the Multicultural Club, Dungeons and Dragons, and Anime Club. And let's not forget, Drama Club is in full swing as it prepares for their production of Law and Order, Fairytale Unit. Come out to see our superstar colonels February 3rd and 4th at Shelmet High School. Thanks for being with us today. And now back to the team at Penn TV. Bye! Bye. Good job, colonels. You know, many of these AJ students join hundreds of others from across the district to take part in the recent Red Ribbon Rally's epic assembly. 
This traveling team of young artists educate and inspire students, sharing personal stories and performances to address issues like bullying, suicide, as well as drug and alcohol abuse in a school assembly format. Using drama, dancing, live music, and spoken word to impact students, the group challenges students to make positive life choices by providing culturally relevant, preventative health education. And speaking of epic, Shamut High School recently hosted the event of a lifetime when it celebrated its 75th homecoming, a star-studded gathering that united past homecoming queens from Shamut High School, Andrew Jackson High School, and St. Bernard High School with this year's court. It was truly a special night. Congrats to all of royalty past and present for being with us. And thanks to all of the folks who made this event possible. And now let's head over to Araby and meet its super news team there. Hello, I'm Caden Hume. And I'm Mary Nadler. And welcome to Araby for today's School Spotlight. We'll start things off with a sweet event as we take a look at some of the fun of Sugar Fest. As we have for many years, Araby kicked things off in old Araby for performances by our chorus, junior chorus, Araby Angels, and Airbnb Chair Squad. It was a beautiful day and a fun event. Our third graders also had a good time learning all about C. At the end of the first nine weeks, our third graders celebrated the end of their unit with an under the sea day. It was a great way to bring all of our learning to life. Our second graders also enjoyed a special day after their unit studying the Greek culture. Greek Day highlighted everything the students have learned about ancient Greek civilization and mythology. All of the gods, goddesses, mystical creatures, soldiers, and royalty had a great day of fun together. Our fourth graders also had an interesting fall when Miss Landy's class built and tested pumpkin catapults. This was a great way to learn more about energy conversions, research skills, and the design process. Hey Caden, guess what movie the children of Greece really loved? What? Toy Story. Well, that's about it for us here at Araby. But before we go, let's take a quick look at some of the fun that took part at Fall Fair. This event truly brought our school together as everyone enjoyed the games, good weather, and the spirit of our school family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And special congrats to my co-host and our school student of the year, Caden. Nice job. Thanks, Mary. Bye. Bye. Great job, Gators. And speaking of great, our district's achievements, growth, and goals are all included in this year's quality report. This document, called Reflections, provides an understanding of who we are, what we do, where we are going, and how our school district is performing in areas that matter most to our community. The quality report was included at the table as part of our annual Day of Reflection Gratitude Breakfast. Over 400 community members and leaders recently joined our school board for a celebration of food, music, camaraderie, and Thanksgiving. Let's take a look. We knew we couldn't have our community back if we could not provide educational services for the children. That motivated us to push, to cajole, to pray, and to work relentlessly to create a place for those who had lost so much. Finally, in that same year, 2005, but now in the month of November, on its 14th day, an historic event would take place, one that would change the trajectory of our future. For 11 weeks after Hurricane Katrina, we would welcome 334 students back into St. Bernard and into our trailer school in the parking lot of the Bobby Nuss Stadium. It was the birth of the St. Bernard Unified School. Abigail and I were only six or seven months old when Katrina hit, and now we are soon to be graduates. We are parish proud to be ambassadors of our great school system. We know that the opportunities we've had and the ones that will be a part of our future are because of the programs and people who have been a part of our educational journey. And for that, we offer our collective gratitude. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all you do for our schools. And we'll see you again in December for our next Super News, where we always let the, the Super, Super News roll. roll.